Hi weaving friends, today's video is about targeted wedging. This tutorial is brought to you by the plaid double width booklet. This is an e-booklet that's 44 pages long and it's an absolute must have for your rigid heddle library. There are three sections to the booklet. In the first section you learn all about double width weaving, including all the best tips and tricks for a successful project. I talk about design, suitable yarns, how to avoid the dreaded floats and so much more. In the second section we weave the beautiful plaid blanket project that you can see in this picture right here and I include really comprehensive step-by-step -step color photo instructions. In section three you will find all the warping and weaving color orders that you need to complete the project, complete with charts and written instructions for different learning styles. I hope you can check out the booklet today and I'm going to leave the link to that down below. Now I've talked a little bit about wedging in a previous video, tips for working with finer threads and I'll link to that down below because I'm constantly, constantly sharing that link with people who are having tension issues with their loom because realistically it's not just useful for finer threads, I did make it for that purpose, but it's completely applicable to all rigid heddle projects where you're having tension issues. So just to recap the basic idea of wedging is that you use something, something like I've got a cardboard stick here and you place that at certain places at the back beam in order to increase the tension a little bit. So this stick I have here is not the full width of this warp but let's just say that it it was then I could just pop that underneath at the back here and push it up underneath the warp to just give it that extra bit of leverage that it sometimes needs. Now today I'm working on a double width project and I am having issues with one particular downshed it's always going to be the downshed pretty much that's going to give you tension issues over the upshed. So if I go into the upshed, look at that, it's beautifully tensioned, no problems at all. But when I go into the downshed, I'm having trouble with threads sticking to each other underneath and not getting a clear shed and that's, that comes down to tensioning. I've noticed particularly that I'm having issues in an area across here and an area across here and I know that my tension in the middle is a little bit tighter than the tension on those both sides. So when I'm talking about targeted wedging, instead of wedging something across the whole width of the beam at the back, I'm going to go specifically to the areas that need the increased tension. So I mentioned that the middle is, the tension is absolutely fine. So if I wedge something across the entire back of the loom, I'm also increasing the tension for this, the middle section, which doesn't need it, but both of these side bits do. So I'm going to focus on specifically tensioning these parts. It's really just these smaller sections here and here where I have threads constantly sticking. So I could use some cardboard sticks. Again, I could cut them to size if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I've cut up so many of my cardboard sticks, they're all different sizes. Um, so much so that I need to buy some new ones so that I have some full length ones again. So another alternative to the cardboard stick is printer paper. So I've, I've got here some A4 printer paper and I've folded it up until I've got a basic kind of width for the area that I need it for. And so I'm just going to come into that area. I'll move my pickup sticks out of the way, put my heddle back into neutral. And I'm going to come into this back section on this side and on this side and wedge just those areas. You can also use a thicker paper than this if you have it. It depends on how much tensioning you really need in the targeted areas. So I'm just going to bring that one in and work it underneath the warp at the back. Remember my, both of my heddles in, are in neutral so I've just got the straight warp happening here and I'm just going to push it back as far as I can. I've got my other paper roll here, that's what I'm using as a separator. 
but it's just not quite doing the job enough in those areas. So I'm gonna shove that in there and it's gonna stay there. When I advance my warp, this is going to work itself out in little increments and then I'll have to put it in and retension it and that's fine, it's easy to do. So now we'll have a look at the other side where I'm gonna come across and do the same thing. And just get that wedged in there as far as I can. Okay, so now I can, I can feel already that the tension in those sections has improved. If it wasn't improved, I could bring in yet another folded piece of paper and put it on top of this one. Or as I said, I can use a thicker paper. Or if you can think of something else that's going to be appropriate for wedging in there, go ahead and do that. But it really does help. So if you're having issues just in specific areas, give it a try and see what you think. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll take a moment to like the video, share it with someone you think would benefit from it and remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Until next time, happy weaving!